What's up guys, it's x 2 rabby 2 x here, and welcome back to Minecraft Modding Made Easy. Now today I'm going to go over um, Eclipse tips to uh, make your modding easier, and also I found, like, I'm going to share a way on how I can get your uh, the code to you guys, and also how I will be able to answer more of your questions and on errors and whatnot, so yeah. Um, let's go at it. So I have three tips to give you guys to make your modding experience faster and whatever. So let's go ahead and in our in any class you want, Control F is the, is the key to search for anything. So if uh, if I just type in ingot here, press Enter, fine. Now you can make this case sensitive whole words. You can go up up or down. This doesn't really matter. Now the great thing about this is. Let's say you have blockium whatever. Now, if you want to, if I were to type in blockium here and replace with, if I typed, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I could. Okay, let I'll give you a better example. So let's cl let's close this up and type in hi. No, hello there. So let's go and uh, look for hello there. Oh well, it's right there. Now replace with. You'd go ahead and replace with hi there, and if you if you um, clip replace find, let me actually put another one of those in there. Now, if you put replace find, then the one that you like you see like oh, let me, yeah let me actually okay so when you click find on these it'll highlight one of the one of them. So when you click replace find, it replaces this with this um, pretty much instantly but only if only the one that it found only the one that's highlighted so let's go back to hello there now let's say there's two hello there's you can hit replace all and it will change both of them this is really really useful when you copy and pasting stuff so yeah that's uh, that's the first trick whoops it's the first trick now an even better trick is um you know, no, never mind. I'm gonna save that one for last. Um, let's. Uh, how to find classes easier now? Minecraft comes with a lot of classes, and I don't. I hate scrolling through it. So the way to do this easier is simply just click inside your little package explorer and start typing a class. Now you have to do this fast, otherwise, if you don't like, if you're really slow typers, it's not gonna work. Because after like a second or so after of not typing, it'll just reset and go back to the first letter. So let's go ahead and type in mod underscore, and it gives us the mod blockium right away. Let's go type in world gen. There you go, world gen. All your world gen classes right there. Uh, what else can we do? Um, item. There you go, item. We can go to uh, item blockium crossbow. There you go. So I, I, you guys can't really see me typing, but that's how it is now. So let's say I do um, block. Now, if you type really slow, like B... L O see like it's it's it went to B to block I think or something like that let's B it went to base mod and then I took some time to type in the L so it went to it went to layers and then O so it goes to O so you gotta make sure you're a fast typer when you do this but it's it's really oh no no that's not what I wanted um yeah this is this is really efficient and really cool so uh, yeah that's just gonna help you guys. Now the greatest thing I think is um, the um, let's see, Control H. Now, whoops. Okay. Now the file file search is probably the best thing ever. So you can scope your you can search your whole workspace, meaning your client, your server, and whatever other projects you have in here. You can you can uh, search your whole workspace or you can just do the closing projects it doesn't matter now here you can go ahead and containing text now yesterday I had a viewer ask me where can you find the spawn rates for diamonds and stuff like that so they have a they have a general idea of what they should set their block as spawn rate so let's go ahead and hit up generate now I think there's a lot of classes so it'll give you a bunch of classes like this. And you can close this up. 
We're actually not going into the climb, we're going into the source. And there's a bunch of classes with that, uh, with the generate method. Now, I think world gen was the one. Uh, where is it? Let me, let me search for this. Um, let me go here, use my method. So item or, nope, it's not item or, is it? Item or, no, block or. Oops, block or, yeah, it's block or. So, okay, we have diamond. I, I know I found this somewhere. Oh, it's in, wait, is this a mod loader method? So let's go, where are we? Generate surface. It's a base mod method. So let's go over here and base mod. There you go, base mod. Let's go generate surface right here. Uh, generate surface. Where does this go? Generate surface, generate nether. Okay, I found it yesterday. Where is this thing? So let's go to... Oh yeah, generate surface. That's what I wanted to look for. Generate surface. No, it's not... A... Where is this thing? <laughs> Sorry for this. Um, let's go back to generate. Because I know that's a method. Now, uh, you can do Java search in the same workspace, like file search. It searches for anything of this string. Now, Java search, you can go ahead and type in generate. And it can be a constructor, method, type, whatever. I'm going to go search for method. And I'm going to do. No, not case sensitive. If it's all occurrences, declarations. Okay, so I can't do. Is it biome decorator? Yes, it is. I think. Uh, yep, here it is. So, um, let's keep clay per chunk. Uh, where are we? Let's find Control F diamond. Diamond gen. Uh, block quarter diamond. Nope, nope. Okay, so it's seven. So there's seven diamonds per chunk. At least we know that. And basically, you can find all your ores in here. Like standard ore, which would be like stone, anything you can find in here. And sorry, it just took such a long time. But yeah, those are my three tricks. So the control F, you can replace find, replace all, or just find them. You can do uh, control H, which you can do a Java search of if you want to find a certain method or a type or a constructor. Or you can just do a file search if you want to find any type of string in there. And lastly, how to get quickly navigate through um, classes? Just type it in here, like base mod or uh, mod underscore blockium or uh, item blockium. Whoops, item blockium crossbow. Okay, so now that we know that, we have the three tricks. Your modding should be a little faster, so that's good. Uh, next on the list is my uh, forum post on MinecraftForum.net. Now, I made a little forum post with an updated version of what my tutorials currently include. And what I want you guys to do instead of, I know I've been saying that you leave your comments, questions, whatever in the comments. Um, yeah, don't do that anymore with errors. Also, don't PM me with errors anymore because I kind of want to get it on here. So we can make some kind of like a frequently asked questions. Because I get a lot of the same questions PM to me. And, you know, it's usually... This can be solved really easy just by having an all-in-one thread. So I'm going to put this link in the description. Make sure to check it out. And put your questions and errors in here. Make sure to put spoiler stuff around them. And when you're entering code, make sure to put it on, in a code snippet. Make sure to do that because then it's all like aligned nice and it's easy to read. Because YouTube message code just looks terrible and I have really hard time navigating through it and that just means that I can help less people at a certain time so from now on make sure to put in spoilers which are spoilers uh, I don't know May where is the spoilers whatever just make sure to put in spoilers so it's not spamming my whole page so I can just open up whenever I need to make sure to put all the code inside the code snippet make sure to put put down error messages that's the two things I want is if you have an error and you're asking for it and you can't figure it out by yourself 
make sure to put in the error message that you get from Minecraft along with the code that you have in your mod underscore folder or whatever other class that you're using that you're having prob problems with. So make sure to do those two. Do not give me uh, command prompt code. That does not help me at all. It, it, it's useless. It doesn't show errors. Just basically put it in spoilers and put the code in the code snippets in the, in this thread. I'll try to check it as much as I can. I'll answer questions and hopefully you guys, your guys' uh, uh, problems will help others so others won't have to ask for uh, quicker responses. So, um, yeah. Um, thank you everybody who's watching the series. I love you guys because this has been really popular for some reason. Like a lot of people are watching this, and it's so cool. And I'm—I mean, I'm loving this. I'm loving the feedback. I'm loving everything. It's just the errors and everything is getting really hard to help people out with because there's just so much, and I'm getting so many messages. And it's—I'm sorry, guys. So I will also put um, the code from the from our tutorials. I'll put it right here on this forum. So if you want that code, it'll be right here. I'm not going to amplify it. I will i won't be that guy. Um, I'll just simply zip the code, put it in here. And yeah, if you want to go grab it, you can. I'll try to update as much as possible. And I mean, that's, that's all I got. So I will be making one more tutorial tonight, and that's on entity spawning. How you can spawn entities with items. And um, yeah, again, thanks for watching, you guys. I honestly I appreciate it a lot. And thanks for all the feedback, thanks for all the likes and comments and whatnot. But uh yeah. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Comment for comments. Don't put your errors in the comments like I just said. And um yeah, subscribe for more videos. And uh thanks for watching. Really, really thanks for watching. So um see you.